Good morning. Welcome to our Red Short webinar. My name is Mac, and today we're discussing the spike in cyber attacks during the holidays. As always, you can find information on related topics at redskylines.org. And if you've missed any of the previous Red Shorts, you can find them there as well. So to answer the main question of why attacks increase during the holidays, it's because cyber criminals follow the money in the news. The holiday season is their favorite time of year. With so many people shopping online and using mobile devices, cyber criminals have more opportunities to launch attacks. They know that people are distracted during the holiday season. In a rush to complete other tasks, it's easy for employees to abandon cyber hygiene or miss signs of attacks. Human errors lead to 95% of data breaches, and these errors are likely to occur when people are distracted. This means actors are likely to carry out more successful cyber attacks during the holidays. Hackers are aware that there is more valuable data to pounce on during the holidays, so a successful attack would be more rewarding. With increased shopping, retailers have more consumer data, and it's really no wonder that 24% of attacks target retailers. During holidays, companies' networks are more strained due to increased traffic, and threat actors are aware of this. They also know that most enterprises are unprepared to handle increased traffic. It's easy to penetrate the networks unnoticed and launch attacks such as DDoS. Phishing attacks are more likely to be effective during the holiday season because users already receive many unsolicited promotional emails. Cyber criminals exploit this by disguising themselves as credible sources, such as shipping companies or retailers, to gain victims' trust. Since targets open over 70% of phishing emails, there's a good chance of launching a successful phishing attack during the holiday season. Between November and January, the number of attempted ransomware attacks increases by 70%. Hackers know that companies are more willing to pay a ransom during the holiday season to avoid losing valuable data or disrupt, disrupting operations. They also know that companies are more likely to have a lot of money to pay the ransom and make it go away. Unlike in previous years when the World Cup is held in summer, the 2022 World Cup just took place ahead of the holidays, a decision game because Qatar is too hot to host in the summer. The World Cup, which is usually a malware magnet in its own right, is joining the holiday cyber chaos in 2022. Since gift cards have fewer protections than other payment methods, fraudsters favor them, as they can anonymously obtain quick cash through irreversible trans transactions or by selling stolen cards. There has been a six-time spike in automatic gift card lookups during the 2022 holiday shopping season, which it identifies as a key indicator that fraudsters are using bots to identify and steal card balances. According to Microsoft, there's been a three-time increase in fake account creation the week before Black Friday and a 40% increase from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. Fraudsters generally, generally create fake accounts in the run-up to Black Friday, so they have a well-established aged accounts that blend in with legitimate customer accounts. Freebie bots is a term for bots that scan hundreds of retailer sites from mispriced items and purchase them in mass quantities. Scraping attacks grew 43%, with more than 3 million scraping requests made each day in the days leading up to Black Friday. Scraping bots capture real-time data that is used by competitors to undercut pricing. In addition, attackers are scraping as the basis for counterfeit websites that trick unsuspecting consumers into making a fraudulent purchase or providing their credentials. Nearly 40% of companies reported a 10% or greater loss of revenue due to web and API scraping. An increased risk of cyber attacks during the holidays doesn't mean that your organization should sit back and do nothing. There are several things you can do to protect yourself from cyber threats. These include training employees to raise awareness about cyber threats to minimize human error, identify flaws and vulnerabilities in all of your organization's connected devices, update all your software, add an extra security layer, to your enterprise's email accounts, make customer service more accessible during the holidays to take care of concerns more swiftly, regularly test your cyber defenses, have a robust contingency plan. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the material and found it useful. If you have any questions on this subject, you can contact contact us via Jim McKee at jmckee at wapaclabs.com. If you're not a member yet, please sign up on our portal, redskylands.org. Your membership is free, and you'll be given an access to a variety of Red Sky Lands content. See you next week.